Hey everyone, um, welcome to the second part of this video from Lulu Mayo's book um, A Million Sweet Things. Um, in the first video I showed you how to colour um, the flowers and I finished them up um, in my own time as you can see. Um, I don't think there's anything to tell you, I just did it how I explained, apart from the doors, um, I come in a little closer. I did say I was going to do them in dark pink and I just started doing them in purple. <laughs> so I did them in a sort of mix of dark pink and purple and I think I carried it off. But you might want to just do them all in pink. I think it might look better. But I just had to uh, do them all matching. Never mind. Now I've been thinking about what colours to do the critters on this page, trying to match in with the purple, pink and green sort of colour scheme we've got going on. And I figured that probably the best idea would be to use greys and blues. So we're going to make a start. I think we'll do our little friend here first. Now, actually, the, the face um, and an arm, um, obviously, I don't think we can do in grey or blue. Oops, I'm just going to fiddle with my pencil. It's going to still be using the um, polychromos. And I think I'd rather like this colour, actually. Um, it is called um, Light Flesh. Whoops. And I think it's a sort of almost pinky colour, which I think will just work. So it isn't quite going to match in, but I think it just works for for this um, particular part. And we'll then move on to the um, hat and clothes and things. Now, I'm not good at colouring skin um, or anything. I'm just going to do this in quite plain colouring. As you can see and then I'm just thinking it might be a little bit darker in a few areas um, I'm just grabbing what should we get this is called medium flesh and it's a little bit more pinky I don't know I can't get it to show up very well I'm just gonna sharpen <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do a little bit darker here I feel there would be a bit of shadow under there and here and then there not too much and then maybe under the brim of the hat but just a little I don't want it to be too dark it's really because I'm not very confident not because I don't think it should be dark if that makes sense like that and then I'm thinking maybe just a bit under here might be a bit of shadow and my nose. I don't know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not really, um, not very good at that. I think it'll do. It just doesn't quite look white now. It looks quite white in the camera. But you can see that against the white, it isn't quite white. Now I'm going to do the dress and hat. I'm more, much more confident with doing that. Um, I think I'm going to, you know, I quite fancy doing some sort of turquoisey shades for this. Um, I think it's a girl. I don't think she's a girl. I don't know why. Um, cobalt turquoise. And do the hat. This is actually the second time I've started this video. Um, I didn't actually colour anything the first time. Um, I started speaking and the doorbell rang so I stopped and I went outside. My neighbour was um, explaining to me that he ha had a parcel due and he was likely to be out so he put my house number on it because he knows I'm off and in so that was okay and uh, we had a nutter about various things as you do and then just as I came back in to start the telephone rang <laughs> and it was my husband um, just telling me that he's booked a week off for the summer which is rather nice um, He's uh, the week of the children's birthday. Their birthday's actually on a Saturday, but uh, he's booked the week before off, so that's nice. My son said he was going to take the week off and not do any work, but I don't know whether he meant the week after. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to put a layer down, and then what I want to do is make it a little bit darker on the edges. I'm just going to gently go over these bits a little bit more. Now with the polychromos you don't necessarily have to add lots of different colours. You can just 
add layers and you get um, a darker shade. So that's what I'm trying to do. I figure if we make the hat look a little bit darker on the edge, it will make it look more rounded. I think it's such a cute hat. And I'm just trying to... Uh, now my poor son, he's trying to record a live stream on YouTube at the moment. Yeah, I haven't done it too dark. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to do the um, the dots in a slightly lighter blue. Yeah, he's trying to record and first of all, um, it didn't work. And he was, um, this is the light cobalt turquoise. And um, he was just talking away to himself. I'm going to try and do it a little darker on the edges of the circles and lighter in the middle. So a few more layers around here. And then um, he did get started and it all worked. So I gave him a thumbs up and came out. And then the doorbell went. And I was talking to my neighbour at the door. So I don't know how noisy it was for his recording. And then um, the telephone rang. So uh, he's had quite a few disturbances. The phone was actually in the room where he was recording. I've put it in the hallway now. So if it does ring again, it won't disturb us too much. Um, so it's been rather disturbed. He was just, he told me that he wanted me to come and record so I wouldn't be tempted to, too noisy while he was doing his, which is fair enough. And uh, I wanted to come and finish this anyway. Because I recorded the first half of this this morning and um, then finished all the rest of the details and I was sorting out some other things as well. Um, the... Um, trying to work and sort out a date for signing the contract for the kitchen which is very exciting um, I'm not sure by the time this goes out whether work will have started or not I'm not sure now I want to use these same two colours oh we've got this one to do um, on her dress I think it will tie it all in nicely now I often like to leave collar white but we've got white clouds and I'm not sure if I'm going to colour them in yet so I think we'll just do the collar in this colour. A little bit darker at the top than the bottom. And then I'm going to use this darker blue, the cobalt turquoise, that I used for the hat. I'm going to use it for the dress. So again, I'm just going to put down a light layer and then I'm going to think about where we need some shade and shadow. So we've got her arm here. It's going to create a bit of a shadow. So we can add that in in a minute. Oh, I'm a bit messy today. So I think I'll put a bit here and under here, along here, just where her arm is. Just blend that in. Might have a little bit there too. Now under here, this bit would be dark along where the little cat is. Under the collar. And we want to make sure this sleeve looks dark enough, even though we don't want it quite as dark. Let's have a look. There she is. Okay. Now we have this little critter next to her and I can't quite work out what's going on. So we've got a book and I think a bow tie with a belly, little arms and a head. But what's this checkered -y thing behind? I'm not sure. And is this his tail? I'm assuming it is. Um, I was thinking I might do the fluffy critters in grey, like the cat and the and the other um, critters, because maybe some in blue. I think the greys go quite well with the other colours. The cats particularly, I'm going to start in grey. Now I'm going to use the cold greys, not the warm greys, because I think they'll go better. The cold greys are a little bit brownish, I don't think they'll work. So this is a cold grey 5, and I'm going to do the cat. Now we've got these darker areas, I'm going to do those first and actually emphasise them over with quite a hard layer or several layers of the cold grey. Like that. And then I'm just going to add a soft layer to the rest. And it's always quite a good idea to colour in the direction of the fur. Like this. 
I hope my son's got someone watching his feed. Be fun for him. I was watching. I put it up on my computer. I don't know whether that helps the algorithm because um, YouTube will recommend the feed to people. Whether um, because I'm watching it might help others to watch. I don't know. I know with videos, if people um, watch, then the more people that watch, the more YouTube recommends it. I'm trying to make this little bit here a little bit lighter than the rest. And there we go. I've got another cat really similar to this down here, so I'm going to do this one the same. I'm just going to move a few things so I can move my book and move him into the middle. Let's make him a little bit closer. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm going to go across the tail as I did before with the stripes just going in a little bit harder and then just add a light layer. It's really quite simple. You can add all sorts of fancy shading and things if you want to. I just want to keep it simple. Just Sometimes if you've got a stripe effect going on with your pencil, it can be good to try and think about where your fur, direction of the fur, but I'm not too worried. There we go. Now this cat, I'm going to do a different colour because I think it would be better. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a tail up here. This tail can do the same as the cat's. I don't think he's a cat. I think he's a sloth, but you'll see in a minute. But I'm just, just the same. Quite pale, quite fun. There we go. Now, here he is. So, I'm wondering what these lines are here. Are they just the edge of his head? I think so. I think that should be a bit darker there, where it's near the bottom. Get a bit lighter towards the top. And I'm going to use this sort of back and forth motion to create the look of fur uh, in the most basic way. You have to be careful because if you do this sometimes it can just look like you've scribbled. <laughs> I want to make it try and make it look like it was intentional, which isn't always easy. There we go, there he is. Their sloths are probably brown, aren't they? Not grey, but we're doing it like this now. I'm still wondering what on earth this is. If this was alive you could comment for me. But Got to make a guess. I'm wondering if it's a hat. Then it's right on the back of his head if it's a hat. Surely not his... Oh, but what's that pom-pom? That's got to be on a hat. It is a hat. Good. I know how to colour hats. It's a chequered hat, which is quite fun. We'll do it in a fun way. I'll show you in a minute. I want that bit to be quite dark too, just in there. I'm just going to have to have a drink of water and I'm thinking about his face and chest and whether to add any colour or leave it white. So I talked into my bottle then, it makes a good noise. Right, I've got a tin bottle, it's rather cool. It keeps the water cool actually. I think we'll go for a light. Oh, that's not the right one. We'll go for the cool grey one, it's really pale. Whoops, there we go, cold grey one, but it will just be not white then. And you'll be able to see, if I do it a bit scruffy, you can see the fur. There we go. Now, I'm going to do the hat, I'm going to worry about the birds in a minute, I'm going to do the hat next. I want a light and a dark blue. So I'm going to go for the very lightest blue, which is this one. It's going to roll. Oh, it's no, it's stay. And a much darker one here. Okay. Let me just talk you through the colours. So don't worry. I will tell you. I'm just going to give it a sharp. And this here is the sky blue. You have to believe me. <laughs> He's a lily. I do have a um, pencil extender for him, but uh, I'm just going to do him quick. Mm, no, I'm going to use it. Oh. Mm. 
doesn't fit in my pencil extender. Here's my pencil extender. It just goes right inside. Um, let's try and open it. Mm, no, I think that's the one's the wrong size. Is that a different size? Yes. No. Hang on. There we go. No. <laughs> I need to fill with them and change the sizes. You can change the size of them. So I'm just doing I like a little checkerboard pattern to make it look like it's a sort of plaid or tartan effect. I hope you can see. The problem with a small pencil is the hand gets in the way a bit more. There we go. Um, I'm going to put some of this colour into the pom pom as well. It's weird, it looks like the pom-poms on the bird's head. <laughs> or the bird's part of the hat. I don't know, I'd get a bit nervous with a bird on my head, but you know. So this is called Cobalt Blue. And we will colour in all of these little bits. And it's quite a lot darker, which is what I wanted. So that you can see the pattern in there. Well, that line is there. Hmm. I, I was just sticking my tongue out then while I was concentrating on colouring these really small spaces. I'm not worrying about any sort of shading because it's so small. Just enjoying myself. Now here I'm just going to put in a few bits of this colour here and there. There we go. Keep some white, keep some pale. That's fun. Okay, now his book. I was really tempted to do his book to match his hat, but I think that would be a little bit weird. You wouldn't really match your book to your hat, would you? So, <laughs> so I'm going to grab the middle phthalo blue and colour it in. Now the book would be a fairly solid colour, I would think. So I'm going to try my hardest to get it reasonably even. It's not always that easy. So I do my best. I think I might leave the pages white, but I have a feeling I've already gone over them a bit in the grey. But never mind. I'm not going to worry. Now birds. Now we could do the birds grey, or we could do them blue, or a completely different colour. I'm just having a look at the colours and having a think. Um, I don't think I want to do them brown because we don't haven't got any other warm colours here. Um, I think I will do them grey, but I'll do them a different shade of grey. I'll do them both the same, I think. So we've got a Payne's grey here, which is a really different shade to this. And uh, I'm going to just start by making him a little darker on his belly and then lightening it up towards his wings. Oh, sorry, I had an itchy nose. I realise I've just I just realised there that I think that's the beak. I coloured it in blue. Never mind. And on the wing I'm gonna start dark there and lighten it up again. And although we've used one pencil, it doesn't necessarily look like it was just one. It looks like the wing is in a darker colour. So it's sort of cheat a bit. There we go. So are those two. Now, got a little critter in the house here. Now I think he would be better off in grey than blue. I think he'll stand out better. So I'm going to use this as the cold grey three. And uh, I'm just going to do him over quite lightly. He looks a bit like a ghost. But I want to colour him in. I don't, excuse me, want to leave him white. I'm just seeing if there are any others, but there aren't. I am going to do this cat in, do we do that cat in grey? Do we do all the cats in grey? Yeah. I'm going to stick with this grey for this cat, actually. And it's quite a plain cat. Um, I'm just going to colour it in quite gently. 
this one looks like it the cats look like they're asleep but the um this critter is wide awake is this a bush baby do you think i'm wondering whether to do all the critters in gray to sort of match them up just walk to that way it was easier for me but also you would think the fur would go that way that's quite a simple straightforward one now this cat, I wasn't sure whether to do grey or not, but I think I will. I'll use this one, this is the cold grey four. We've got these spots on the cat, I'm going to do those first to make them a little bit darker. And then do the body a little bit lighter. I do want it to look different to the cat beside him though. So we don't want them too light. But you can see it's a different shade of grey when they're next to each other. Looks like they're having a little snoozy cuddle. It's quite cute, isn't it? There we go. Now this little guy here, he's got a friend down here as well. And I'm going to do them, the two of them the same colour. Just sharpening. I think this is the cold grey three. Got little pencil bits on my desk. And it's the cold grey too. Oops. I tried to use different greys. So he's a funny looking thing, isn't he? It almost looks slightly brown, it's not really. Definitely a cold grey. <laughs> His face makes me giggle. We go do the little tentacles you could you don't have to do these all the same color and there's this he's got a friend oh, here now you could choose to do I had thought about doing these in pastels but I just felt like this would work sometimes you just have an idea and a feeling about how something's going to go I'm gonna do now these two I was very very tempted to leave them just white we're going to do a hat. We'll do this hat. Um, what blue shall I use for that? This blue. This is the phthalo blue. Whoop, phthalo blue. And I want to do it a little bit darker each end, lighter towards the middle. That's it. Okay. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Now I think hmm, I could leave it white. Should we do? We'll do a little bit. Um, what should we use? If we use, um, hmm, yeah, we we'll use the really light one, the um, cold grey one, and just do bits if we do this it looks very because we've got fur drawn on him already I'm gonna leave that bit around the eyes white and draw on some fur now I don't know if you can even see that I'm doing anything I don't know how good the camera is at picking up really really light pencil but then he won't be completely white And do the same on baby in a minute. Baby's asleep. How cute is baby? <laughs> Just the cutest. Now clouds are at the top of the page, which you can't see. They're my next sort of pondering item. I'm really not too sure what to do with them whether to leave them white. I think I've got an idea. Okay, we've got this cute little one. Oh look, there's a leaf I haven't done. Oh, i just do that. I've got the pencils handy, grass green. And leaf green. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do this little one in this quite dark cold grey six. Oops, you can't see. There you are. 
and uh, but quite lightly at the same time. So fur, lots of fur. Not a furry critter. You have to have a sharp um, pencil for fur. And you also have to think carefully about the length of the fur. If you do it too long, it doesn't look right. <clears throat> If you do it too short, it takes forever. So you have to get it right. I think we're okay with this one. Sun shining now. Oh, sun wasn't shining earlier. I uh, tend to shut the curtains when the sun is shining, keep the heat out of the house. Sort of uh, just have to keep it cool. It's not supposed to be such a hot day today, so I'm not quite so worried. Speaking to my mum, she was saying my dad really struggled on um, the one very hot day we had, but on the second hot day he was a little bit better. I don't know whether he um, found a way to cope with it. I'm going to use the cold grey too for the uh, hands and just do a more solid colour because I don't think there would be fur there might be but you know now the little bow mustn't forget the little bow oh, just moving my pencils around I'm going to use the bluish turquoise I'm going to try and make it a little bit darker in the middle a bit lighter towards the outside There we go. Now we are almost done. Now the eyes here have an outside part which I haven't coloured yet. And I'm thinking we have eyes on this little guy too. And I think I might use this light hollow blue just to do a little bit. Um, So I'm sort of leaving the top and bottom white, just doing the edges, do the same for him. I think it gives the impression of shy and this little chap as well. That's how I do a fish eye. Okay, oh, we've got a little guy here that we've forgotten. Now I'm going to do him in the cold grey too. I don't know if he's a little ghosty as well, so he's just going to be quite pale. Right. Now we have a selection of clouds and stars left to do. And we are going to be doing those in pencil. You can do if you wish, but that is not my plan. Let's try and get you all in. Okay. I have a couple of different pens that I'm going to pick for this. This is the Sakura Stardust which is a glitter pen, it's just glitter glue. I'm going to use that for the clouds. The stars, I think I um, need some, could be done just the same way or they could have some colour and be silver metallic. I think I'm going to do it all the same. It'll be easier for me. I think it will match better. And I think the silver metallic, the silver might be a little bit dark and not show up. Whereas because this just covers the um, white and then goes see-through, you'll still see the white through so it'll still look quite vibrant. I'm going to try and avoid colouring over the eyes of the clouds. The eyes of the clouds. Really? Have I ever said that before? <laughs> eyes of clouds. Mm -hmm. My son still, I'm streaming, I can hear him. He reckons that you can't stream for less than two hours. Or else it's not worth it. People like a long stream apparently, as as does YouTube. But, uh, I don't know. But then he says my videos are really long when they're 20 minutes sometimes. He says that's a long video. And that's the streams apparently have to be a lot longer. But 
anyway. I am not. I have no plans now to do streaming. It was something I thought about, and I decided after someone left me a comment about it that it probably wasn't a good idea. That trying to check your if you if people are there chattering and leaving me comments, trying to keep an eye on that and colour at the same time would be really difficult. So what I decided is to do a few more premieres if I've got the right length of video at a convenient time. Um, now premiere is where you have a live chat but the video is just playing. So it means I'm there to answer questions if anyone's got any but it doesn't distract me from the video because that was made a long time ago. So you can ask a question about a video or just have a jolly old chat about something else. So I thought that might be better. The only thing with the premiere is I have to, if it's not, if it's shorter than 15 minutes, it doesn't really give you time to start talking before um, it ends. And um, if it, um, and sometimes I'm just not available. Now my morning videos go out at 7.15 a.m. And that's breakfast time, so uh, I'm not normally available to do the premiere then. I might be at times if I get up early or if no one else is around. But normally um, I'm having to get up and make lunch boxes and make sure everyone's up for breakfast and do all the mumsy stuff. So I'm not free then. But the um, other videos come out at three and sometimes I'm free then and sometimes I'm not. It just depends on my day. And what I'm doing, I mean, three o'clock today, it's two o'clock now, so I'll probably still be recording. So, and sometimes I'm editing and uh, it takes a lot of, um, I don't know what the word is, I'm going to use the wrong word. It takes my computer a lot of energy to edit because exporting and things, it can get, it's, it takes a lot of power. So if I was trying to watch a video as well, I think it would just die. <laughs> I could watch the video on my tablet, but then I'm really rubbish at typing on my tablet. So uh, it might end up with lots of typos, or and also not very quick. So I wouldn't be able to answer you very quickly. So I decided that, that wasn't a very good idea. I'm just thinking, actually, I think Johanna Bass is going to do a live today. Um, don't um, think that it's the day this video is going out. No, she's not doing a live the day the video goes out, she's doing a live the day I'm recording this video and uh, I wanted to watch it but um, I may, I can catch up later that's the thing. good thing with lives is that uh, I think, I don't know whether it was going to be a Facebook live I think um, maybe, I don't know sometimes she does a Facebook and then does an Instagram straight after and then I watch both <laughs> Because I'm sad like that. I think, oh, she might give a little snippet of exciting information that she forgets in the first one. And I might learn something really good. Or someone might say something in the chat that's really interesting or whatever. But anyway, I will have to check that out later because um, my son not more, isn't going to want me to go in and play a noisy video while he's trying to record a live. So I'll have to catch up later. But that's life. I'm sure a lot of people will have to catch up later and I can carry on making videos for you which is good fun I've got a couple of ones to go after this that I'm really excited about I, I was excited to get this one finished because it's always nice to know what it looks like now where are we I can push you up okay so I've done those I've done those no. These are really small. I'm just sort of being a bit vague with my pen. Just seeing if you can see. I'm really just going over the top of them in this glitter pen. Now, there's other alternatives to the glitter pens. You could just leave these white if you don't have a glitter pen, um, which would be absolutely fine. So I have seen people actually use proper glitter. The only problem with that is it tends to be quite coarse and so I think colouring on the back would be tricky. Same with stickles, they would be really pretty but I think colouring on the back of them can be tricky. I have actually used some in this book and I'm not, I'm going to have to be really careful when I colour on the back because it's left a bump. I'm just now looking and seeing if I am finished and I think I am. So oh, I can see a bit where I need to very carefully sweep off some pencil. 
without getting glitter on my brush or all over the place. Oops, wrong way. Let's zoom out so you can have a look and see the finished page. Oh, you can see my messy pile of pencils as well. Oh, look at it. <laughs> and my nice pen. Anyway, so there we go, our finished picture. Um, I hope that's okay. I will just tilt it so you can see the glitter. Oh, sorry. Uh, where can you see the... How can I make you see the glitter? I don't know if it's showing up. I can't really see today. It's a bit tricky. But um, there it is. There's the finished picture. I think it's okay. Um, I quite like this sort of um, greys and blues and things like that. So, uh, and I wanted to really make the flowers stand out, which I think is what has happened, so I'm pleased with that. So there we go, so thank you for watching. As I say, I did make another video yesterday, it may have gone out yesterday, depends if it's a Monday or not. Um, there, so there is another video that's already come out with the flowers, and this obviously wasn't, so if you've missed that one, you can go back and watch it now, and, uh, and do that. But uh, I hope that was okay. Thank you very much all for watching and um, please do subscribe if you haven't already it's free of charge and uh, it just helps youtube show my channel to more people which um gets hopefully gets more people coloring or interested in coloring which i think we all know is a great thing because it will help them to see all the benefits that we have ourselves anyway enough waffling thank you for watching have a really lovely day and happy coloring